Yes, just walking, just walking. Because also this walking is very important for your health, you know? Think about it for yourself, you know? If you're bent to the front, that's not good for your bones and your ligaments and so forth, for, it, for your tendons and so forth. Being upright, elastic, so forth, that's good for your health, you know? And this is tied together with your mental feelings, you know, bodily and mental uh, connection, yoga, joint. Uh. Mm. So even our Qigong is also yoga. Because the complete yoga way is nearly the same like the Qigong way, you know. Of course, this um, immortal stuff and so forth is another topic, but related to body and mind and to cultivation, yoga, tantra and the Taoist way are really very familiar. But that's in the, in the more, most uh, classes, you know, you won't get even close to it. And if you are not meditating, you can do it. But be aware that's only the tip of the iceberg, you know. So um, if you are interested only in this physical stuff, it's okay, you know. It will help, of course. But it's far, far, far away from everything I am teaching. <laughs> because you will get bored, you know. So really the way of your bodily sensations and relaxation, you know. Maybe you are coming with me on this far path even without meditation, I don't know. That's the walking stuff, basic walking. It's really important to keep your awareness within the whole body. The, the answer or the feedback is really your bodily sensation. You know, the mental talking is getting quieter and quieter. Not my talking, but my inner chatter, uh, and I hope your inner chatter too, is quietening. Just be aware of your bodily feeling. You know. And that's the realm, the level on which we are learning. So we are not remembering the forms by outer means, just because you know how your body is feeling when you are performing these forms. You know? coming to carrying the chi. You know, I'm, I'm comfortable with this now, so I can switch to the walking backwards, but I think the more new to it, the longer you have to perform it, 
No. And now a little bit of walking backwards. It's nearly the same without this back and forth stuff. One step, step backwards before you are distributing your weight, feeling comfortable, lower hip to the front. One step backward while distributing with rotating a uh, rotation of your hip you might have to adjust your forelegs position your fore front foot's position a little bit you know, so that you are bro broaden up your stance one step backward yes distributing the weight and it's, it's not meditation but the aim is to getting comfortable with with what you are doing in this moment you know? getting to know your body and your mind and your hindrances and so forth maybe the snapshots it's really for the walking it's the same first snapshots as we have for the walking front, forward, it's the same beginning, you know, first step backwards, without weight, feel the sole of your feet, and then distributing the weight to the back, with the hip rotation, and then Still in the standing leg, put your feet to the back, feel, oh there's a hole I felt, so I took my foot a little bit forward, that I can stand on it now. so forth you know? and then in the last step you are getting in something like a flow state but kind aware and and calm you know and if you are getting into trance that's without awareness you know? Open up your upper chest, breathe freely, um, I might have stepped out of your view, that's all, you know, one, one time the whole choreography Whole co choreography. Yes, just one time. Still. Pipa. Open to the ear. Step backward. Distributing the weight. Push. Open to the ear. Step backwards. Push. Open. And so forth. That's the loop, of course. That's enough. 
Really? That's enough.